Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is a course play tutorial for FS19. Somebody in the comments on one of my other course play tutorial videos that I've done asked me how I change the shape and the size of the vanilla field that I was using at the time. So this is a vanilla field. This is field 25 on the map, which I can't pronounce its name. But basically, I've completely changed the shape of most of the other fields, 24 and 23. So I thought what I'd do is I'd just change the shape of this field. So I think most people know if you want to enlarge a field, you either press uh, Y, which allows to create field, or again, press Y to limit. Or if you're using an Xbox controller like I am, it's L1 and Y, which basically allows you to create fields. So uh, we want, obviously, create fields. So we're going to L1 and Y, create fields. And we're going to start the tractor up, and we're going to change the shape of this field and enlarge it. And actually, I'm going to show you two different things with their uh, course play for this, actually. So to actually enlarge the field, you do have to do it manually yourself to begin with. So, but you only have to do the edge of the field that you want to enlarge. So we've got to a field 25 here. It's all square. I want to enlarge it and take in some of this land. So just making sure we're creating fields. So I'm using this nice big plow here. And I'm just going to trace around where I actually want this new field to be. It needs to be a little bit careful. You can go up hills, but I don't think these larger ploughs like it particularly much if you do actually go up too steep a hill. But we can take in some of this land here. You know, we've got a large area. This is going to really increase the yield that you're getting off this field. Just You can almost, well, say in, almost increasing the size of this field by a quarter, possibly. So, yeah, just going to go around here with this and uh, yeah just enlarge this field so what I normally do when I'm trying to enlarge fields is round off the edges at the same time because having round edges on your fields just makes things better for course play of course play will do sharp edges you can get your tractors to turn at the corners if you want if you haven't got rounded edges but I just find if I'm doing this anyway I'm gonna round my edges off so I'm just gonna leave that there and I'm gonna leave I am gonna leave the angle and I'll explain why I'm gonna do that in a minute so I'm gonna pull off and hopefully we've traced the edge of that but what I've done also is I've been doing some experiments and what I've done I thought I'd include this I've gone into paint so no that's not paint I need to go into shop so go in there press start um, enter rather come over to the field and what i've done my field is somewhere over here i've just painted a line down here with the i'm not sure which texture i use it's like a rocky texture so this field 25 has actually been uh, um, split into two separate fields now with this paint down the middle so if you draw a line right down the middle of a field like this you will split it in half so that's just something important just to show you because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click with the mouse to open up course play and then what I want to do is drive into field 25 here and then what I want to do is I want to go onto field work I want to cancel off the course I was doing because I don't need that and then what I want to do is go calculate current field edge fields edge path and hopefully you will see it's taken in where we've done the ploughing. So if you plough from one end to the other, you do need to make sure you kind of touch the end of the existing field over there in the top here you can see. And then if you complete a single pass with the plough there, then that will create your field. And also you can see here what's happened. This, this section here that I'm pointing out with the mouse is still field 25, but because I've painted a line down the middle of it, course play with the new field edge path isn't detecting that as field 25 now now I've done that on purpose but just something to bear in mind so I think once you're happy with the field that you've got and the size of it and everything I could what I could do is just plow the edges of these two bits of rock here that I've put in the texture and it will reconnect the rest of the field but I'm not really interested in that at the minute but I did want to show you that painting down the field will basically split it in half so what we're going to do we're going to have this as field 25 again so what we need to do now to save it is to go field H path number and then we're just going to find field 25 you can actually use the scroll as well scroll wheel on your mouse field 25 add field 25's edge path to list and that will basically overwrite that's an important thing as well once you do that you have overwritten the field edge path for field 25 so now if I generate a course so let's go we're in field work course generation 
field 25 which is our field that we're in headland passes 4 let's say uh, don't need to bother about any of that and then generate field you can see this is our new field that we've kind of generated well having said that that doesn't look quite right does it let's bring up the option where you can see your course so yeah it is pretty much have I, I what I haven't done there with the plow is gone yeah that's fine it's because of the paint texture so let's drive over there and just uh, double check yeah we're not taking the whole of the end of the field but that's because again I've painted over the end where in fact this field 25 actually ends all the way over here somewhere but I think you get the basic idea as long with the plow as long as you do one pass which beats the end of each of each of the ends of the field then you should get your course done and then basically what we can do with course play I've inputted a course now which is basically a plowing course and I can let this tractor plow the rest of this field and he will create the field for me so if I where's the where's the start point so it's already detected that start point there so maybe we're going to be going around here aren't we so if I pick this up stop the tractor go to start course at next uh, next closest waypoint if I hit that nope don't want that one I want this one please over here drive nope you're not going to pick that up for me are you okay -doke. what I will do uh, and that's because I'm facing the wrong way that's why <laughs> it's facing this way right let's get this I just want to see and double check that this will actually plow the remainder of the field and create a field for you so next closest path drop that down he's gonna finish that field off for us so we don't have to bother so it's just a time-saving tip so you can extend the fields to basically what the boundaries are do a, an edge round the top and bottom and then just let course play finish creating the field for you and obviously it's going to plow the rest of the field as well but that's no bad thing really because it does help to um, especially if you've got periodic plowing on so there we are that's pretty it is pretty straightforward dividing your fields now the other thing you can do if i came over to let's jump in this massy for a minute just before i wrap up let's say you wanted the field edge path for the other field that we've created say you have split a field in two now what you can do is drive over to the field I don't think you have to drive over to the field actually no yes you have to, you have to be in the field with the tractor definitely come into this field here park up we're in work mode are we no, I haven't got any I haven't got an implement right let's go and get an implement to uh, to actually put it into work mode is an important thing now I've got the implement, it doesn't matter what the implement is for this, it's just so I can go into the field and click on a field work basically. So we're going to go field work and then we're going to go to, where are we, field work, hmm, right, I know I've got a course, I've got a course laid in, that's not going to help. Oh, calculate current fields edge path and you'll see there we've got this smaller field here which is all squared off but yeah it's definitely a distinct separate field now what we can do so if I go into the world map and look for a field let's look for a field that we're almost certain that we're never going to use so I'm certain in this case that I'm never going to use field one because it's all the way up there and my kind of experimental zone is here so this is field one what I can do is I can create another field so if I go to one and then go add field one's edge path to list basically this will now be field field one so let's go to we're in that so that's all fine go to course generation field number one headland passes doesn't really matter generate course and you can see there again because i've painted the top and bottom of this field it is a completely different field but now this is field one and let's say for example you don't want to use this field anymore you do want to use field one again all you need to do is drive up to field one do the same thing uh, and with the calculate current fields edge path select field number one and then replace that so it can be undone it's not like the end of the world if you do save over a field but it's just a handy way of creating like separate fields if you so desire you know is and is an option so there we are i hope i've explained that uh, clearly if you've got any questions let me know in the comments below and i'll try and answer them as best i can but i think i'll leave it there and say until next time bye bye